Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at question 5. A machine puts liquid into bottles of perfume. The amount of liquid put into each bottle, d milliliters, follows a normal distribution with a mean of 25 milliliters. Given that 15% of bottles contain less than 24.63 milliliters, find two decimal places the value of k such that the probability from 24.63, so that's the same number as before here, from 24.63 milliliters up to k is 0.45. So let's just draw out what we've got so far. We've got ourselves a normal distribution where the mean is at 25 and we have a point on this normal distribution of 24.63 that gives us a probability of 0.15. Now we don't know the standard deviation yet and that's what I'm going to work out first. If I go to that probability table from the formula booklet, the percentage points on the normal distribution, what this gives us is a point on the z distribution whereby from this point on the right hand side if we want say a probability of 0.015 so probability of 0.15 then it's the z value of 1.0364 but given that in this question here we want it to be on the left hand side it does correspond to just negating this value of minus minus 1.0364, this will give us a 0.15 probability on this side. So now what I need to do is I need to remember the link between an x distribution and a z distribution. Now the link between an x distribution and a z distribution is x minus mu over sigma equals the z value. So in this question here the z value is minus 1.0364 equals the x value of 24.63 minus the mean in this question is 25 divide that by the standard deviation that we don't know and using that we can work out that the standard deviation is going to be 24.63 minus 25 divided by minus 1.0364 and if we now turn to our calculator, this is going to give us an answer of 0.357. So 0.357 is the value of the standard deviation there. But that's not the full answer for this question here. It's a very important part of this question because now we can move on and work out this value for k. So let's now get rid of that percentage points table and let's just tidy this up a little bit. Let's rub that out. Okay, so what we now need to do is we need to now work out the value for k. So k, let's look go back to our diagram up here. Um, k is going to be the point where from 24.63 upwards to this value k, we have a probability of 0.45 in this region here. How do I know that k is on the right-hand side? Well, because if I add together that probability of 0.15 and 0.45, that's a 4 there, um, then it gives us 0.6. So 0.6 is the probability here for all of that region there. So I know it's on the right-hand side because it's half on each side. So what I now need to do is I now need to go to my calculator. I'll store that value of the standard deviation in my calculator as value A because I'll need it later on. And I'll now go to mode 7. And the correct mode that I'll need for this question is the inverse normal mode. I know the probability, I just need to work out what my x value is now. So go to the inverse probability mode. I want the area to be 0.6 or below to work out the value for k. Uh, the standard deviation is a. That's currently stored in our calculator. And the mean is 25. I suggest you just input alpha a uh, into your calculator in the standard deviation place. And it will recall the accurate answer that is the standard deviation. And then when we press enter on that, we get our k value which is 25.09. So there we are, that's our answer for question A.
OK, so let's move on to question B then. A random sample of 200 bottles is taken. Using a normal approximation, find the probability that fewer than half of these bottles contain between 24.63 and k milliliters. Well, we know that the probability of a bottle being between 24.63 and k milliliters is 0.45. So what we effectively have here is a binomial distribution with 200 trials with a probability of 0.45 as success. Um, and we want to find the probability that fewer than half of these bottles contain between this value, but it wants us to use a normal approximation. So when we do that normal approximation, it's going to be x is normally just wait for let's not use x because we might have used that before. W is normally distributed. Now the mean is calculated by doing 200 times 0.45, it's NP, isn't it? N is the number of trials, P is the probability of success. So it's NP for the mean, that's 90. And then for the standard deviation or for the, for the variance, yeah, for the variance, it's going to give us, uh, we, we work it out as 90 times um, 1 minus P. So we're going to times that now by 0.55, and that will give us, 49.5. That's the variance. So for the standard deviation, we're going to need to square root it at some point. So, um, so now we're going to find the probability that fewer than half of these are uh, in between this range of values here. So on the y distribution, that would previously have been less than 100. But this will now be approximated by a, by, by a normal distribution where w is less than 99.5 because um, because we can't really have this is the this is the continuity correction here so if we want 99 bottles or fewer then on the normal distribution that's going to be from 99.5 or fewer because um, the normal distribution contains a continuous set of values and anything from 94.5 to 99.5 is going to be effectively represent, sorry, no, 98.5 to 99.5 is going to be effectively representing 99 um, bottles containing in between this amount of liquid. So we need it to go up to 99.5. Okay, so let's now grab our calculator and we need to now work this out. So we'll go into our calculator mode 7. We'll type in, um, it's the binomes, it's the normal CD mode, normal CD. We don't really want a lower bound, so I'm going to type in my lower bound as minus 999. The upper bound is going to be 99.5. The standard deviation is the square root of 49.5, because 49.5 is what we calculated as the variance, and the mean is 90. Uh, now, when you've typed in the square root of 49.5, it will appear as a calculated value, and that's fine. And now we'll press enter, and we're going to get an answer of 0.9115. So there we are. So that's our answer to uh, part B. Okay, let's now move on to part C. The machine is adjusted so that the standard deviation of the liquid put in the bottles is now 0.16 millilitres. Following the adjustments, Hannah believes that the amount of liquid put in each bottle is less than 25 millilitres. She takes a random sample of 20 bottles and finds the mean amount of liquid to be 24.94. This doesn't seem too far away. Test Hannah's belief at the 5% significance level, you should state your hypothesis clearly. So our null hypothesis is that the mean is still 25, unless I've given, unless I'm provided with evidence for otherwise. And the alternate hypothesis is the mean is less than 25. Now, our distribution is going to be a normal distribution with a mean of 25 and a standard deviation of 0.16. But when we're doing a question like this, it has to be a sample a sample mean, so it's going to be 25 as the mean still, but then the standard deviation is adjusted, so it's now the variance of 0.16 squared over 20, 
for the sample uh, normal distribution. So therefore the standard deviation is going to be 0.16 over the square root of 20. That's really important for a hypothesis test question like this, where you're taking a sample um, and then doing some, some calculated statistics on it. Now what we want to work out is the probability of x being less than 24.94. So what would so if we were to take um, these 20 bottles, what would be the probability of getting a so it's the adjusted sample, isn't it? Um, what is the probability of getting 24.94 when taking a mean of 20 bottles? So let's go to our standard deviation, sorry, let's go to our normal distribution calculator. That's mode 7 on the calculator. We'll go into normal CD mode. We don't really want a lower bound, but we want an upper bound of 24.94. The standard deviation is, um, is 0.16 divided by the square root of 20. Uh, I think I just missed, if you if you type that all in, it, it will be right. 0.16 divided by the square root of 20, that will give you 0.0375, and the mean at the moment is 25. And let's see what the probability would be of getting a value of 24.94 or fewer. And we're gonna test this value compared to 5%. The answer there is 0.0467. So when we compare it with 0.05, we can see that this is lower than a 5% probability. So therefore, this is enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis and suggest that the mean has now decreased. So we need to write something down to that effect. The, this is evidence to reject H0 and support Hannah's belief. So there we are, that's our answer to question five, and that's uh, 13 marks in total there. Let's now move on to question six.